because we need to shed the light. Light needs to be shed on your uh, on your uh, your your bullshit. Yeah. Your nakedness is being uncovered, man. Yeah, right. Everything you're doing, the the, the 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 social media is, is really it's too fast for you now, man. You can't even keep up with your own damn lie no more. When they, when they yeah. said that Ebola dude died, it, it, the Israeli paper put it out four or five days before the American news paper put it out. Right. You found that he died, and then you thinking you didn't found out something. People on the other side of the world already knew that five days ago. You gotta watch this devil, man. Me and the brother was talking about, well, do you think that's a hoax? And I, and I was going into the fact that 9-11 was a hoax and people still died. You know? And then the fact that he beta tested, man. He doing stuff to get a reaction. What he pretending to do is what he gonna want, eventually he wanna do in, the, in anyway. That's right, up, yeah. So eventually he gonna put out a disease if he ain't put that out already, man. But we gonna act and we gonna assume that that, that is real. That threat is real, why? Because that's the times that we in, man. Do we got time to be playing with this devil? No, we do not. Yeah, it, it is a real threat because we know we, we know the, the madness that he got coming behind this threat. Even though it could be set right. up as a guise to the other right. uh, methods of his new world order always that enough. he's trying to fulfill, we still got to consider that a threat because ultimately we know it's all is just a small piece of the, of the new world order plans, man. It's always and, and the Georgia Guidestones and, and the population control, man. They they have a, a set goal, man, to decrease the world. Population of 500 million, man. So that's a lot of killing that has to be done. And this is just one avenue, man, through disease warfare. That's right. It said, it said that um, he, if, if he could, he would deceive the elect, man. Every all the information you get from Esau, you got to scrutinize to the teeth. Right, right. And you should already know that it's a lie. You should already know that from the back. It's how deep, like I said, how deep do the rabbit hole go? That's hey, find out what you can find out. But we know how he gonna come. Right. He gonna come with that slide of hand. He gonna come with that with that that that, that snake tongue, man. That pork tongue. You know? That's that's why we gotta be harder on. Which at the end of the day, all we gotta do is preach the word. That's it. That's right. But we gotta be harder on just 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 accepting the, the information that you hear every day, man. Because it can be your downfall. Well, we got the main source of information right here, man. That's right. Through these scriptures. The prophecies, man. That's the main thing we pushing. We basically out here proclaiming things that the Most High said was going to happen before it actually happens. And the thing is, man, that makes you people so mad is that all the things starting with our elders that they've been out preaching about, you, you actually starting to see these things happen. The elders been preaching about uh, pestilences for years, man. But now you're starting to see it really play out and manifest itself in the flesh, man. But it's all through the spirit. So like the brothers going into, there is a lot of uh, misinformation, disinformation that the so-called white man puts out there. But the men of the Lord, man, we got the real source of information, man. Yeah. Like all, all of it, not a lot, all. Huh. Anything you hear from this devil is gonna be a damn lie. It's not gonna be to benefit you. You know, when we heard this truth, it was when it was our first time hearing it, all this information was to benefit us. And there was a reason why we've never heard it. Because he don't give you nothing to benefit you. He only give you stuff to keep you lost, man. Go ahead, huh? Well, this is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 4. I will lay thy cities waste, right. and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. That's right. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Right. And has shed the and has shed now, the blood. Now, who is this talking about? I think in the first verse. It might be in the first verse, it might be a little up. It's, it's speaking about Edom, okay? Yeah. Which is a so-called white man. Goes back to Esau. He's talking about their perpetual hatred, man. You know? Now, now, it, 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 it didn't boil over into a perpetual hatred just for life in general, man. He don't like the order of anything righteous. Righteous, man. He only, he only gravitates towards wickedness and destruction. And other nations are starting to pick that up. And now the Lord is turning the nations against this devil, man. Right. <laughs> right now there's a scramble over on the other hemisphere of the world, of the nations, man. Why? What are they scrambling for? The resources of the world, man. To be able to rule. China and Russia and the eastern countries are going against the more western countries right now, man. Right. Yeah. And 
has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Right. Me, even, me, what's that mean? Even in the time where we, we were supposed to be loose from this devil, man. Okay? In the end times, man. The scriptures say we scarcely gonna be saved, man. That's right. So all the way up until the end, man, he gonna be pulling all type of so-called tricks, man. Why? Because the elect, we ain't supposed to be fooled by that. That's why I say so-called, man. Right, ain't no enchantments. You know, it ain't nothing. Everything you do, you're supposed to see it. It's already coming, man. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Power, I will prepare thee unto, unto blood, right. and blood shall pursue thee. Right, he said he's going to prepare them unto blood, man. And blood is going to pursue these Edomites, man. That's right. And mainly these people in power, man. It's going to chase them down, man. Meaning what? A spirit is going to be on them to get rid of them, man. That, the Grim Reaper. Right. The spirit of Can you escape the Grim Reaper? You can't. That's what it's talking about. Blood going to come because the blood is crying out to the Most High right. for vengeance, man. When you read in Revelation chapter, man. Chapter 14. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Right, he don't hate blood. Like I say, his glory is blood. Right. The white man's glory is how much he can take, steal, destroy, right. rob, lie, cheat. And as long as he tap dancing in the sunset laughing and shit, everything's all good. But the, like the Lord said, he, he, he gonna prepare a, a, a judgment for that, man. That you can't escape your death. Go ahead. Thus I will make Mount Seir most desolate. Right. And cut off from it right. him that pass it out and him that return. That's right, That's man. right. Meaning all the commerce is gonna be gone, man. Everything we read at the Old Testament, it goes more in detail in the New Testament. But then people try to separate the two. Say the commerce gonna be gone. He gonna cut off them that come in and, and go out. Ain't no gonna be no more. Right now they trying ain't they trying to stop plane flights right now? Ain't people begging them to stop the damn planes from coming from West Africa? Yep. Eventually ain't gonna be no planes coming from no damn. Place. That's right, brother. Okay, go ahead. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. Man. Man. With his own dead, man. The, hey, the chicken's gonna come home to roost. You know? And now, now the fight is gonna come home. You know? And, and you ain't gotta, it ain't, you gotta worry about it. ISIS, you ain't gotta worry about giving it a name. Your own government is against you. That's right. You ain't gotta worry about it. You know, some some lone rangers or a terrorist group. Go ahead, I in thy hills and in thy valleys. That's right. And in all thy rivers shall the shall they they fall that are slain with the sword. Right, so imagine that, man. Blood is gonna pursue them all through the Americas. That 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 means chaos. For chaos to happen in this current system. Can't be in place, man. For the Lord, the Lord to give us the upper hand over these devils, this current system can't go on. That's right. That's right. That is right. Why? Because everybody's excuse is they gotta go to damn work. That basically, you in slavery. That's right. Everybody, that's everybody. That's what it's gonna boil down to. When you got it, when you get a nigga to do anything. The benefit our nation as a whole is gonna come down to that. Uh, or to step out of our comfort zone and show force towards this devil. It's gonna come down to well what, what I got to lose. Or, or, or appointments that I got, where I gotta be at. Shit like that, right? Right. So the Lord is gonna destroy this current system to give us to, to, to so we can get our hands in our enemy's neck. That's like right. we say in Genesis the 49th chapter. That's right, brother. Okay. In all reality, he's already destroying the system. Every single year, there's a new tax on your check that's taking forty dollars out of your check. Fifteen dollars for this, twenty-five dollars for this. Right. You know what I mean? You, you go outside, you smell the air. It's, it's way worse. You know? You try to eat food. I remember I had a, a strawberry the other day. It didn't taste like shit, man. You can't even enjoy fruit. You know what I mean? So it's already being destroyed. Right. It's gonna continue to be destroyed, man. That's 
right now. But we are gonna get to a point where, like I say, uh, Second Ezra 15 chapter, nobody gonna regard their rulers, man. Law ain't gonna, ain't, it ain't gonna be no law out here no more, man. That's right. Nobody gonna be able, you ain't gonna be able to call nobody. Ain't nobody, and if you do call people, they wouldn't dare show up. That's if right. you get a hold of anybody, they ain't gonna show up. Cause it's gonna be some examples that's gonna get set. And after right. a minute, people gonna be like, you know what? Nah, I ain't on that doing and stopping them niggas from riding. Cause they shooting at us. They that's shooting right. back now. Right. Hey, who gonna rise us up? I'll watch him, y'all shot. If I can say this too, I'm mistaking a sandwich for a damn gun. That rides me up. They're really trying to do that, man. They really, they really, they really don't. You speak the word, man. They're really trying to, to push this thing, man. That's right. You think it's coincidental that all these people that got shot up like that, man? I'm talking about that shooting tape left and right. Every time right. I check for their wallet and stuff. Every time I check for a new, it's just Jay got shot. ATO got shot in the same place, man. So, and, and they, they I, I, you know, which, you know, I think, it's just my opinion, I think they're talking to young, young Jay, so they can ignite that anger, man, yeah. for somebody that's deemed as innocent. Yeah, give it that Emmett Till feel. Yeah, and, and also they cowards, too, you know, when, when, and when I was young, I had a lot of run-ins with the racist police officers, man, because they feel like you ain't got no damn daddy, you can't do shit, you ain't got no clout, you know? So also they got that cowardness in them too, which make them attack our, our young, our young people, man. No? I will make the perpetual desolation. Right. Meaning it ain't gonna bounce back, man. It ain't gonna bounce back. Y'all gonna go right from here to, to slavery because right. you have no, all this is a fantasy. You don't have nothing to bargain with. The Lord said, "If I recompense, you can't recompense. You you got fiat money." Okay, you got you got void contracts. You ain't got nothing, man, to pay nobody back with. And thy shitty cities shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. That's right, man. Cause from then on, it's gonna be a foot in your neck, man. Right. You gonna you gonna be held down. You gonna be oppressed. Right. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna talk around it, and beat around the bush. Like we like they gonna be in the kingdom, but we gonna be ruling over. Nah, we gonna oppress you, just like you oppressed us. That's the only way we gonna make sure a city not get built. It's to keep out, keep tabs on your ass, like you keep tabs on Jake. How do they make sure Jake don't build? The FBI, the CIA, NASA. You see? So you gonna be oppressed. You gonna be watched, man. That's right. You gonna have to report to the task man. You gonna have them probably odd. You gonna have ID cards, you shit go. like in a sense. You gonna have a, not not physically, have, but in a sense. Yeah, you gonna have a, a, a handbag. Right. All <laughs> that. Right. He's good. He's good. Right. You gonna have to go through security scrutiny. All that, man. What's up? You gonna be profiled. You gonna be profiled. Curfew. All that. Curfews. <laughs> you know. Population uh, control. Y'all can't gather in here more than five. God, we're gonna right do out. all that, man. Why? Because you you been proud in your wickedness, man. Uh, that's we're right. gonna return the favor. I and it. Go ahead. I this is uh, Revelations chapter 18, verse 5. And it says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, right. and the Most High hath remembered her iniquities. Right. Reward her, even as she rewarded you. Even as she rewarded you, man. So that don't leave out of pressure, man. Go ahead. And double unto her. Double according to her works. Right. Double the oppression? God damn. Double. I don't see how we gonna pull it off. We got a hard job ahead of us. <laughs> how, you, how we gonna double the oppression, man? You gonna get tired of whooping your head? <laughs> we, gonna, we gonna hire other nations to beat you. That's right. That's right. Like right. Tad, he said we gonna have taskmasters over there. We gonna sell their children to the saviors. <laughs> we gonna do all that, man. That's right. Go ahead, huh? In the cup which he, which she have filled, fill her, fill to her double. Amen. Everything that everything that America has prepared for us and the world, man, we are gonna prepare for it, man. Right. The Lord has already prepared. We just gotta come into our kingdom, man. That's right. We gotta wait for the prophecies to unfold, man. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 7, 
how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. So much torment. See, the Lord can't emphasize enough about the torment and the violence. But everybody talking about how peaceful forgiving you. Well, see, it's how it all depends. Like everybody likes to say, you gotta look in the context of the story, man. In this context, dealing with Esau, ain't no forgiveness, man. That's, That's right, right, brother. Okay, where, where is that reiterated? Hebrews, man. Where's, what's that, 6-6? 